were uh, doing mountaineering and uh, hiking and uh, trekking in uh, <laughs> trekking all that stuff in uh, northern Italy in the Dolomites. Very nice uh, mountains. Who did not know uh, these mountains? Uh, please go there. It's, it's really fascinating. Over Wonderful. Hmm? In the overbots. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, excellent. Absolutely. And um, the, the, the place is called La Villa. And um, uh, Andreas, I admired him because at that time, you know, I didn't have any money. He showed up with his own car. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a blue Ford, metallic. <laughs> and uh, we, we managed to get almost as many people in his car as I hear in the room. <laughs> So, so he was a quite good driver in the end, I, I really? realized. And, really? Uh, um, Andres, uh, this was the first time I, I met you, and then later on he started uh, to study physics in Karlsruhe, and uh, later on in uh, Cambridge in uh, the UK. Um, always a big example, yeah, there's a pre prestigious university. Um, and me being the guy staying at home in Germany, and he was already outside, it's the global kid. And uh, Andreas uh, then joined, uh, joined us uh, for uh, traveling around, because we had a student group traveling to many different places in uh, uh, Greece, to Egypt, and then uh, to uh, Armenia and Georgia under still uh, US, uh, Soviet times. And uh, then uh, Andreas joined us in uh, Syria. And, and I remember was... actually that's where my financial career started because the whole group gave me their Deutschmarks and asked me, can you please go to the Shuk and get us a good rate for a Syrian money? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and then he, he was uh, responsible to get the money, but he even um, managed to have a cheaper way of getting good food and drinks. Because uh, in Syria, this is a country which is a clear dictatorship that didn't change in the last 30 years. And uh, so all influences of uh, standard tourism simply don't exist in the country. And what has survived is oriental hospitality, in the real sense of the world. Word. So people are really hungry to get to know each other and when you are a foreigner and you show up, they are very proud of receiving you. <coughs> so whenever you, we were, we learned very fast, so we're very, and, and here he is very uh, talkative to everybody. So after three minutes in the soup, um, he managed to get invited by somebody for coffee. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> coffee in San Andreas and three minutes later you are sitting in some shop. Or uh, I remember this uh, uh, evening we had with a Syrian uh, general and uh, you know, three red telephones in his living room. And the next day, I think we were with this uh, Syrian um, uh, opponent uh, uh, in, in his house, so we, we went to see everybody in this country. They are both very here tonight. tonight. <laughs> it was a very funny time at that point in time, and he always managed to get invited. And I had the privilege to, to follow him. And later on, uh, Andreas actually managed that I, I chose to um, <coughs> come here to uh, uh, the uh, Bay Area in 89-90, uh, just after the Berlin uh, Wall came down exactly uh, 20 years ago. Um, some days after uh, the 9th of November, um, I uh, came over here to uh, uh, first Berkeley and then uh, I found a house in Palo Alto and we spent Christmas. Peter Cheeseman. Peter, are you here? Peter. Which Peter? Which Peter? Peter Cheeseman. Oh. He yeah, was here earlier. Yeah. Well, he was here. is by his former boyfriend. So I, I think he's, he's, he's present sort of. He's trying to find the salmon. That's <laughs> <laughs> also where I saw Barney lying in front of my room one day and, went here, and I later on became your roommate. So. Okay. That was the place. Yeah. So we, we had the opportunity to spend one year together here in the Bay Area. And he was the guy for, for the first time who took me to a real very good Chinese restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I learned from you and uh, I think I kept up the tradition. And uh, then uh, we introduced another tradition to spend every year New Year's Eve together, which is a quite ambitious thing with Andreas because he's moving around very fast <laughs> and you have to follow him. So uh, you better get a frequent fly on all the different airlines worldwide. <laughs> and uh, we once, uh, yeah, we went in all different places. Uh, the furthest away was in Shanghai some years ago. 
uh, New Year's Eve with a big party in your place, and then later on we had a <coughs> foot massage. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I remember the pain of your face. I will, I will never forget that moment. <laughs> I will never forget that moment. Um, <laughs> I think when I, when I think uh, when I think back at uh, we have kept a good friendship, even though we don't meet every month. But uh, I think uh, what uh, you all know, uh, it is a special person because uh, not only he is traveling around the world and giving lectures everywhere, but um, he is a very generous person. He is an extremely enthusiastic person about whatever is fascinating for him and uh, very creative, people-oriented. Um, I think you are really an inspiring guy and you give many yes. lectures and I can understand that you are inspiring for, for all those who are listening to you. But he is also a dedicated cello player. Which I <laughs> so, so yesterday he, he invited, he invited me to a cello concert and immediately the guy who should play was ill. <laughs> he, didn't say, he, he didn't replace him, so I was really angry on him. <laughs> no, and uh, well, what I love that you are able to share with others. So that's something I, uh, I uh, really appreciate and uh, this is the reason why you are one of my best friends and uh, um, you are not only one of my best friends but also one of the best friends of uh, my spouse Isabel who is, Isabel. Uh, I don't know, somewhere downstairs. Oh. Isabel. And uh, yeah, thank you and go on for the next 15. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Thank you. of you know having to travel quite creatively first he ran the deutsche bahn had 90000 people working for him there then he was